Okay. Yeah, so I was stating that some of the, the work that's in this release, the 1.21 release coming up, being released today includes automated penalties work. And then the issue with the first time load of the community app. And with that issue now fixed, we'll be, we'll be making the community app the default application. So no longer will you have to, you know, add preview after your URL. So we'll be deprecating the individual lending reference app finally. And then thanks to Awesh and Sugosh for building out some of our current stretchy reports into Pentaho format for nicer formatting. There will also be some other uh, reports there for the loan and, um, and printing directly from the loan and savings account pages. And thank you to the Google Summer of Code students who have submitted some pull requests. We've been integrating some of those into the code base for release. And then Vishwanath has been working on some additional integration test cases that's being shipped with this release. And then the Musoni team uh, started some bug fixes on the maker checker functionality, which Madhukar uh, helped to wrap up and complete. And then coming up, you know, we still have the preview releases of the fixed and recurring deposits functionality. We're working on some basic standing orders. There will be some UI level enhancements coming up. And then Vishwas is taking on the approval accounting work this upcoming iteration. So let me know if there are any questions about the release and any of the features happening right now. Okay, well if there are no specific questions, uh, let me just send the link to the release notes to the chat and then like I said before, uh, going forward with the next major release, or going forward with this release, and then the next next major release, you know, we'll start to implement some pro changes to our overall release process to make it more transparent and clear about when the releases are happening and what's actually in each release. So stay tuned when we have this release. We'll, you know, at least send an email to the mailing list with details, and then for the future releases, we'll be making a few process changes to to help improve everything overall. And then just wanted to spend a moment discussing the Summer of Code uh, timeline and agenda. So let me bring up a page so you can see the timeline on my screen. And clearly the quickest way for me to find these pages is just to search on Google. So. And so just, I think we just had one of our aspiring Google Summer of Code students on the call today, Gaurav. So right now, you know, we're in the process of evaluating the various student applications. So the team of mentors here at MIFOS, we're reviewing all the student proposals. And then for the most promising candidates, we're going to be scheduling uh, two sets or two different interviews on Skype from March 31st to April 9th. And then based on those interviews and their overall quality of their proposals and the pull requests and interactions they've had with the community thus far, we'll be, you know, selecting which students we'd like to, to work with for Summer of Code. And the ultimate number of students we get to select is based on, on Google. But this year, you know, we're hoping we can at least bring on four students once again and maybe even up to, to six, six students for this year's program. So if there are any questions from any of the Summer of Code students on the call, feel free to share them right now. But stay tuned for when we'll be reaching out to schedule a time for an interview. So I'm going to now, you know, pass the presentation mode on to Gautam and I'll let him move forward with the tutorial portion of the call doing the walkthrough of the MIFOS or the move to MIFOS X data migration tool. So I'm going to unmute everyone but while Gautam is presenting I'll have everyone muted and then if you have any questions you can raise your hand or type them in the chat 
and then I'll unmute you, but that way we can avoid any background noise. So, Gautam, I'm going to make you the presenter. Oh, yes, sir. And then I will also mute myself, too, so we don't have any background from my end. Okay, so I've shared the screen with you, Gautam. Let me know if you have control now. Uh, so don't I don't yet see don't, your don't yet see screen. No. No, can you see my screen? Yes. Uh, not not yet, Gautam. Okay, now I can. Um, okay. Okay. Yeah, so I'll just briefly introduce what you're going to be presenting on, and then I'll let you uh, lead the show, Gautam. So thank you, Tate, for doing this today. So so many of you on the call you know, have expressed some difficulties and frustrations with trying to migrate data into Mephos X. So we wanted to you know, at least provide a higher bandwidth view of the migration tool that Nyan started and Gautam and others of Conflux have worked on. So this tutorial is going to focus on the move to Mephos X data migration tool, which is part, which is used for those customers who are looking to convert over from Mephos 2.x to Mephos X. So I'll let Gautam uh, take it away now. So thanks, Gautam. Hello, everyone. Uh, first, before move to Mephos X, uh, talking, we will quickly go through some Pentaho. Pinto offers a set of open source uh, business intelligence products. Uh, among among them, uh, like Pentaho Data Integration, Pentaho Business Analytics Product Reporting, and Pentaho Big Data Analytics, and Embedded uh, in Pentaho Analytics. Move to Mephos X. Uh, we have developed uh, based on based on the Pentaho Data Integration. Pinto data integration, it is also called as Kettle ETTL tool. Uh, actually, in the Kettle only, it uh, consists of uh, letters like ETTL, actually which stands for uh, data, uh, E stands for data extraction from source database, and T stands for transport of the date, data, and, uh, and data, another T stands for data transformation, and finally L stands for loading data into a data warehouse. We are using this product by using a spoon. It is a graphical tool which makes a design of ETTL process. Uh, for example, creating a job and creating transfer transformations and also uh, it's very flexible by uh, drag and drop. It, uh, it uh, helps us to increase the productivity. So and now I will um, I'll go to move to Mephos X. Actually, this move to Mephos X basically extract data from Mephos database and uh, transport of the data of Mephos and it makes transformation. Finally, it loads the data into Mephos uh, Mephos X database. This is the move to Mephos X project, which present in uh, GitHub GitHub repository. Based for this, actually uh, for this uh, we need a kettle. Uh, kettle comes in um, both uh, community edition and enterprise edition, and it also requires uh, Java JRE Java runtime and environment. And uh, uh, if you will get uh, if you will download that. Uh, Enterprise edition of uh, data integration. It, a spoon will be inside only, so it is basically giving how to start the spoon, and also how to define the, the database, which is source and which is destination. So, first, when we will when we will clone this project into our local, it exists in this form. 
This is the move to MIFOS X. It consists of kettle jobs and mapping dogs. In kettle jobs, stage one contains the jobs. Inside jobs, transformations are present. So I will show you that uh, Pentaho data integration product. Mm -hmm. This is the Pentaho data integration which is enterprise edition design tool data integration. First we have to define the source and destination database by going here. This is the source. Actually, I have given a local, uh, local database that is source for source also and destination also. This is my local host address. Uh, one is Nuru database which is a MIFO and another one is MIFO's tenant default which is a uh, MIFO's X database structure. First, to start, uh, we have to click on uh, spoon dot bat as it is uh, given in uh, move to me for sex. We, after clicking on this, it will appear like this. One minute, it will appear like this. So we have to open. Inside, we have to open. Uh, that move to me 4x project inside that uh, stage 1.kjb file where to open that this is the structure of move to me 4x first initial Actually, for, uh, these are all jobs, and uh, this is uh, this is to set variables. I mean, initially, like I'm setting variables for tool home variable name tool home equal to uh, where move to MIFOS X a project present in my local uh, local 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 system, and also I'm defining currency equal to INR. It can be changed based on the organization uh, which currency they are using. This is a initial task. This is a job which is which helps to clean the destination database. That is MIFOS X. It clears all the tables which is uh, present uh, in the destination DB. And this and this is a configuration job. This is the this is a job and this currency chart of accounts and chart of uh, accounts set parent. This currency transformation we are we are setting organization uh, le organization level currency in the M organization currency. These jobs can be run at in one shot by clicking on clicking on this button and also it can be run by opening each job and also it can be run in each job and each by opening in each transformations.
so I will run try to run at one shot this is the project where it is present in our local and first it will initialize variables and it will clear the database of MIFOSX and configuration currency and uh, list of chart of accounts which is present in the excel sheet in organization detail uh, job it has uh, transformations uh, like office, I app user, and uh, roles. When it is, when each job successfully. Uh, executed at the time uh, this green uh, right mark will be shown on job and also on uh, this set variable at present it is running on configuration this configuration or transformation are executed successfully loan product details center group clients loan accounts and notes this executed so now I will open application
Uh, sorry, some problem has happened in local in local server. No, no worries, Gautam. And then, so, what, yeah, just while you were while you're troubleshooting that, Ruben had a question. Gautam, he was wondering what version is the source database? Is it Infos 2.4, 2.6? Do you know what version it is? Two point six. Two point six. Okay. okay. Thanks. It, now uh, I will tell about how to for example this is a I am going to open loan products job in, in this job it contains a transformations like loan products fees loan fees relation and GL product mapping and in, I will open this loan product transformation this is the input loan product this is the query which fetches data from data from MIFOS and it can before migrating into MIFOS X it can be viewed in it can be viewed here also by clicking on that preview I have given 10 max, limit is 10, so it is showing only 10 loan products. These are the, by using that query, we are fetching data, this, and later, this is the value mapper for interest method enum. For example, in uh, MIFOS, interest method mean for 1, we are setting in, ta in uh, target database as 1, for 2, 3, 4 as a 0, based on the MIFOS X data structure. And this is the, we are, this is the output loan product, where we are define, and defining a table, for which table it, uh, that data has to be load. This is the M product loan table. This the connection is a destination, and this is the these are the database database fields. This is uh, this the source data uh, database fields. This is the target uh, table uh, columns. This is mapped. This can be mapped by for while creating we can uh, before mapping all, all these things we can map by using get fields also and enter field mapping and get field it will map automatically based on the column based on the column names which we have given in source and which is existing which is existing the mifos x database and enter field mapping it 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 can be we can be mapped by manually by clicking on each column So, as I as I told before, like we can run run this move to MIFOS X by by clicking one shot here on stage one, and also we can uh, run this job and this jobs and transform transformation by click by opening or each job and each transformation. 
like I opened this tran uh, this transformation, so I can run by clicking on this. Because I because if I will run this now, it will give error because it already data data will be already exist. This is a job which contains transformations of cent cent centered groups, clients, and group client relation. This is the query which fetches data of centers. And then it will put it to M group table, the data which is fetched from the MIFOS database. Similarly, groups, clients, all data will be loaded when it is successfully run into MIFOS X database. Data will be loaded into MIFOS X database. One minute, I think. <clears throat> this is a meeting meeting job. After running this transformation, this M calendar table will get loaded and M calendar instance table will be loaded. This is a meeting. The, both are destination DB only. Fetching these columns data copied to the M calendar instance. And this is a loan account job. In this these are the transformations, loan charges, loan schedule, loan transaction and loan charge paid by. When this uh, transformation will run, will be run, at that time M loan table will get update and this is a loan charge. In this transformation will run, this M, M, loan, M loan charge will get update and this is a repayment schedule transformation. This is a query we are using to fetch data from MIFOS and we are putting data that data into M loan repayment schedule. And this is a notes job and this is a set opening balance. One thing I want to tell you that is when this transformation will be run at the time uh, chart of account table will be loaded. Actually we are fetching data from Excel, Excel sheet not database here. Excel sheet 
which is which is present in yeah, inside move to me for sex mapping blocks These are the list of chart of accounts. We can define here based on the organize based on the organization. So we are migrating this this data into a MIFO, MIFOSX account GL account table. and this is a set opening balance to set opening balance based on the GL accounts again uh, this transformation is, use, is using opening balance XLS sheet as an input And it will read uh, that uh, this um, move to me for sex migrates the data which is present in uh, opening balance Excel sheet to the account GL entry. So opening balance also in Excel sheet we are defining we are defining according to the organizations. and this is a meeting and attendance transformation that is client attendance meeting it contains client attendance meeting and center meeting transformation This is a question group job. This is a data table you have to create. And these are these are this is a job which contains uh, additional additional information about clients groups. And this is an add loan cycle counter. And finally, this is a bad job. Hello, hello, Ed. Yes, Gautam. Uh, from my side, it's done. Okay. And you are still having challenges of showing it locally, though, with running the MIFOSX instance. Sorry. Oh, you are still having issues with actually displaying the loaded data in the local MIFOSX instance? Is that still the case? Uh, one minute. Uh, okay. And one one question I had, and then I'll open the floor to any other questions. And I have you muted just for a moment, Gautam, so we don't have the background. A question I had was, how does how does one actually 
load their chart of accounts uh, as an Excel spreadsheet into that mapping docs folder. So I'll let you respond now, Gautam. I unmuted you. One minute. Uh, uh, and, I mean, to answer that question, see, uh, right now uh, in move to Mifos X, there is no out of box, like no uh, chart of account migration. Uh, so, like, one has to like no manually populate the, their chart of account into the Excel sheet. But I mean, like, no, uh, we'll provide an option, I mean, like, no, whether the user can either opt to like no migrate the chart of account from Mifos to Mifos X, or if they are not using Mifos chart of account, then they can uh, either. Like, you know, uh, export Ali or any accounting software to this format and then they can use it. The idea behind why we externalize this uh, Excel sheet is I mean, like, you know, uh, I mean most of the people who are using MIFOS are not using MIFOS chart of accounts because MIFOS didn't have, earlier MIFOS didn't have a, a accounting module so everybody end up, ended up with having their own, of, own chart of account outside MIFOS. So that is the reason in the first step we didn't uh, do a like, no, direct uh, migration from MIFOS to MIFOS X but definitely we'll be adding that feature uh, down the line so where user can either opt to migrate from the MIFOS or um, they can po populate this data in Excel sheet and uh, migrate it. Th thanks Nan, that makes a lot of sense and then for the opening balances, is that the same as well, that you manually insert those into the Excel spreadsheet too? Yeah, uh, I said the same, same. Okay, thanks, uh, Nyan. And then let me unmute Ruben as he has a few questions. So. Uh, hi, everyone. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can. Hi. Hi. Okay. Uh, my first question is about the issues or problems. Uh, so there is a dictionary of common errors or issues and this tool um, and solutions of course for those errors I want to know that Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you, Ruben. Did you have a specific uh, error, common error you wanted to yeah. address? Okay. Yeah. Uh, the, the most common errors or, or issues or problems when you try to execute this tool. Okay, so you'd like us to document what those common yeah. errors are when executing the tool? Uh huh. Uh huh. Something like that. Um, like a a, a a manual or tutorial. Uh -huh. Yeah, that that would be very helpful, Ruben. Uh, Nyan Gautam, do we have do we have any? Do you want to discuss some of the common errors just while we're on the call right now that most people face while executing the tool? I see we're troubleshooting one such error right now, but and I think you're still muted. Uh, I still had you muted, so let me unmute you, Nyan or Gautam. So. Okay, so sorry about that, Nyan or Gautam, if you're trying to respond. So. Oh, and you're still self-muted, uh, Gautam, if you were trying to to talk. So. Okay, now your audio is working. Yep. Uh, Ruben, um, if you see, uh, 
Yeah, Ruben, if you see our uh, like you no know, the readme uh, on our GitHub project, like you no, know, we're given a like, uh, detailed explanation about like you no know, how to set up the tool, like you no know, how to import the project and run. So probably like you no, know, if you follow that instruction, uh, you may not like you no know, get into a trouble. But if you get into a trouble, like you no, know, please shoot a mail to like you no know, uh, to the developer list, uh, like you no, know, we can come back. But uh, we'll try to like you no know, uh, document possible errors but again uh, it is really difficult because uh, we don't know like no which environment will be using it because uh, for example uh, i may be running on ubuntu you may be running on windows platform and again different versions of uh, uh, etl tool itself so it will be a bit difficult to like no put in another way uh, but i request like no it's better you like no send or like no what what are the like errors you encounter rather than documenting all possible errors Okay. Um, one question uh, or, or second question is uh, what parts of functions of MIFOS 2.x uh, are not included in the latest book? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, if you see the project right like uh, i have documented uh, like no uh, release notes so that covers basically like no which are the function functionalities or data from mifos is not migrated or either way like which are the things which are missed in mifos x or in mifos or like no both is documented in the release notes so you can just refer that uh, but uh, broadly i mean like no the savings uh, is a major chunk i mean like no we have done it but we are not at like no completely tested it and like no uh, Like no, put it back to the GitHub and like no, made a, a release. Uh, that is a major module is missing. Okay, thanks. And uh, our last question is: I would like to know your honest opinion about this tool. What are the the good and bad parts? Of this tool, what is your opinion about that? Yeah, see, like one of the uh, uh, like you know, one of the area where I mean like you no, know, we need to uh, like you know, improve the tool is I mean like you no, know, regenerating all the like you no know, uh, uh, primary keys. I mean like you no. Know. So as of now, uh, what we are doing is I mean like you no, know, we are porting the data as it is without regenerating all the primary keys. But that's technically there is not really an issue. I mean like you no. Know, uh, Uh, the reason why we uh, like no didn't think of regenerating is is because uh, if you're migrating a like no uh, larger organization uh, again uh, uh, during a uh, transformation phase where I mean, like no if you regenerate any of the keys again you have to calculate all these keys for uh, like no wherever these keys are referred so the migration will take a lot of time so if you see as of now. Uh, the migration tool takes i mean like no uh, around it like, no two hours to migrate uh, around uh, 200000 loans and uh, 20000 clients on a decent machine so keeping that in mind i mean like no we really like no then thought to regenerate the um, uh, keys but otherwise i mean like no it is a pretty decent tool to uh, like no use it to migrate uh, any of the mifos uh, existing customer to mifos x uh, again i mean oh, you can always okay. uh, thank you uh, uh, yeah just to add a I mean, like no always you can evaluate both I mean, like no there's one more like data import tool i mean uh, if you think that i mean uh, data migration tool is a overhead and uh, mfi is a very small Take like only like few hundred clients and few like no few hundred uh, loans. Then even you can think of using a, a data import tool. But definitely like uh, if you have more than few thousand clients and loans, then I recommend using uh, this data migration tool. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Ruben, for all those questions and the feedback you'd sent to the list before. Uh, were there any other questions from people on the call?
Okay. Okay. If there are no questions regarding the data migration tool, we'll wrap up this portion of the call and then, you know, we'll just open the floor to any other additional questions. But first off, you know, I want to thank uh, Gautam for walking us through all of that and thank, you know, Nyan and Gautam for all the work in building out this tool. This tutorial has been, you know, very helpful for me. It's helped to open my eyes and I didn't realize, you know, how nice and how graphical the tool was for migrating data. So it seems like a, a great asset and will be very helpful as we try and get more of our existing customers onto the new new code base. And so, yeah, if there are any questions or topics in general that people would like to discuss, uh, please say them now. I will unmute everyone. So everyone's unmuted if you have a question. And yes, Ruben, I'll, I'll upload the screencast to YouTube after the meeting. So. Okay, are there uh, any other questions from people? If not, we'll wrap up the call for today. So. Okay, well thanks again everyone for joining and thank you especially to Gautam for leading the presentation. And yeah, we'll talk again in two weeks time for developer meeting and in one week's time we'll have our, our user meeting. Then yeah, I'll talk to everybody later on and Nyan, I'll talk to you on our next meeting for Summer of Code. So take care everyone.